Hello YouTube, back again with another video. Definitely got to make this video because I've gotten into a lot of arguments with people about this whatsoever. Um, and a lot of people don't like my stance on this. And I'm going to explain why. Today's video is going to be about Metcalfu and hell. You know what I'm saying? The region of hell. You know what I'm saying? Or what some people would say, um, you know, basically the, the twat of Egypt whatsoever. A lot of people sell a lot of people in modern day, especially in traditional um, African voodoo or Haitian voodoo, try to move away from this hell and demon talk whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? See, we gotta understand what these terms mean. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about demon whatsoever. I'm talking about what people consider a demon as. A demon is a spirit that never existed in human form that dwells in a lower realm. You know what I'm saying? A lower spirit realm. Now, when I say Metkafu is associated with Satan because what is Satan associated with? He's associated with being in like the guard of the lower infernal realms. So now let's understand what hell in these lower infernal realms mean. Lower realms are the realms for criminals. People that died in, in wrong, in doing evil, you know what I'm saying? Or evil people that died. Let's just took it like this. Do you think, for those of you in Ifa, do you think child molesters can be on the same level as Obatala? Do you think rapists? or mass murderers can dwell in the pure realm of Obatala. Use your common sense here. Absolutely not. And this is not voodoo. I'm just talking about for you people that are in Ifa. You do the logic. Metkafu, he is the he is in guard of the realm of the lower spirits or and people that died. Or you can also say Spirits that are evil that never manifested on earth. He is the guard of that realm. He doesn't allow these spirits to manifest in our realm. You know, he is the he he basically controls that door or that gate. So if Metkafu was not around, you would have all types of malevolent beings rolling in the earth. Yes, we do have bad people on earth. But it'll be much worse if Metkafu was not there. He is the one that allows people to receive punishment as well. So when you go into this Christian understanding, you know what I'm saying, this Catholic, Catholic view or Judaic view, you find that the Hasatan was the adversary that came to basically carry out punishments for Jehovah or Yahweh whatsoever. So you find the, the manifestation of this in Voodoo as being Metkafu. You know what I'm saying? Metkafu is no joke. A lot of people want to make Metkafu appear to be some type of weak, happy-go-lucky spirit. Metkafu is dangerous. Many people don't know. Uh, I don't know if y'all read the post that I had about somebody who stole some offering, like stole um, liquor off of Metkafu's alt offer, offering, uh, altar, excuse me. I posted it on my page whatsoever. This guy stole some uh, liquor off of Metkafu's altar. A friend of mine, uh, you know, basically one of my... Um, one of the people that's uh, I initiated whatsoever stole a liquor, stole a liquor from Metkafu. What happened was they end up going out one night, the same night. You know what I'm saying? The person who stole the offering, you know, the liquor whatsoever. He goes to a party. Someone randomly he drinks all the liquor. Mind you, keep this in mind. Goes to a party. All of a sudden, somebody randomly walks up to him and cracks him overhead with a bottle. His head splits wide open, blood's gushing everywhere to the point where you can see the fucking bone. So when you start trying to make Metkafu appear to be some type of weakling, you know what I'm saying, that you can walk all over with your fucking Jesus Christ bullshit, you know what I'm saying, that's not true. You're basically doing a disservice, you know what I'm saying, and you're basically spreading a bunch of lies to basically uh, view Metkafu as some type of saintly spirit. No, Metkafu is petrol. He's in a hot aspect of voodoo. That's why he's not in the Rada, you know what I'm saying? So... This is why I say what I say. And, you know, again, a lot of people may say, oh, there's no such thing as hell. No, 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 no. Your concept of hell or your understanding, there's purgatories, concepts of purgatories all around the world. You know what I'm saying? 
if you go, if for those of you who done your Egyptian studies, you heard of the Dwak or the Twat whatsoever, where those go, those people who go, you know, those who have, you can say that those, like a lot of ancestors go into that realm. And then there's some who basically go to the judgment bar of Mayat. And those who are not, who do not pass or basically whose heart is not weighed by the feather, that is not equal to the le level of the feather, gets basically destroyed by Am Amit whatsoever, you know what I'm saying? The jackal with the tigers, with the, uh, the jackal with the, uh, what was it? The alligator's head whatsoever, you know what I'm saying? Or the lion with the alligator's head. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand, you know, a lot of people that's trying to run away from this whole thing of, oh, the, the commercial aspect of voodoo. Voodoo has a good, a, a light side to it and it has a dark side to it. But many people in the Western Hemisphere try to basically throw away the darkness. You know what I'm saying? You got to have a balance here. You know what I'm saying? There must be a balance. And just to talk about voodoo in a good sense and not talk about the bad, no, man. You know what I mean? This is the difference. Again, I got always stresses. This is the difference between Bokwas and Munguns. You know what I mean? And Wombos. You know what I mean? Bokwas tell the fucking truth. We give both aspects of, of reality. You know what I'm saying? And this is the thing that you'll find that a lot of Munguns they try to do in America is basically give you the fucking garbage, the watered down bullshit. And they don't want to talk about the other aspect of it. And this is why I talk about it. You know what I mean? Because you know, the information got to get out here. Not to say that I'm giving out secrets. I'm just informing people of letting them know what they're getting into because they're not being told this whatsoever so with that said i conclude this video hopefully this is informative and thank you guys for watching like and subscribe